Pulp magazines really started right around the turn of the 19th century. And a very intellectual man named H.L. Mencken started a pulp magazine in 1920 and called it Black Mask. The thing that set Black Mask apart from other magazines was the fact that a couple of really successful writers were working for Black Mask. People like Earl Stanley Gardner, people like Dashiell Hammett, people like Carol John Daly. They were so successful that other writers would look at it and say, hmm, I want to be there too, because of the excellence of the work that appeared in the pages. Not just exciting for every reader, but real literary quality. A lot of people think that noir fiction and hard-boiled detective fiction are the same thing. In fact, they are diametrically opposed. There are no heroes in noir fiction. The hard-boiled detective is a hero. He's the gunslinger coming to town to clean it up. He's the good guy and really tough and on the side of righteousness. As Raymond Chandler described him, he's a knight who walks mean streets, but is not himself mean. The creation of the private eye in Black Mask magazine remains the most important development in the history of mystery fiction in America. And many of the most popular writers to this day, people like Mike Connolly and James Lee Burke have policemen but they operate like private eyes, all of which came from black masks.